Meanwhile, the Lake Christine fire continues to burn near the town of Basalt and El Jebel. Fire has grown to about 4,900 acres with no containment. It spurned at least three homes. Two men were sighted at a shooting range for starting this wildfire. Matt Croshall joins us live in the town of Basalt tonight near where the Lake Christine fire burns. And Matt, that community there is truly coming together to help everyone that's been evacuated. Absolutely. And I want to show you something. This is Basalt Mountain here behind us. The town is below that red line across the entire mountain. Above that line has burned. That red line represents what firefighters have been able to do, protect all of these homes. And for a community, we are really starting to see why it is so special here. All of them coming together to help each other. I think these are recon planes coming in now, and then the bombers will follow them in. All these people can do is watch and hope the flames spare their homes. You get up high and look over this valley and it's, you can see where it could be pretty catastrophic. Inside the Red Cross evacuee shelter at Basalt High School, one evacuee is also very busy volunteering. Our neighbors were coming yelling, please get out, get out now. So we went outside, we saw the flames and we got in the car, we had five minutes, and we got out. Sharon Kurtz isn't sure if her home is still standing. She has volunteered with the Red Cross for 15 years. So when this tragedy struck, she turned to what she knows best, helping others. It helps me to not be so nervous and, and worrying about the house. And her helpful spirit isn't alone here, a community coming together. The people that are coming in have wanted to donate food, water. A lot of people come in and say, I can take animals. So we've got all their names listed. Uh, if we need them, we can call them right away. Neighbors helping neighbors. This is so rewarding to work for Red Cross and helping people and seeing a smile from them because they're thankful we're helping. There's a community meeting going on inside right now uh, here at Basalt High School, and they're actually busing over some of the other evacuees from another high school so that everyone can listen to the very important information about the updates on that fire and how things are going right now. Still 0% containment, but uh, the fire did not spread as much today as it did last night. We're just over 5,000 acres here as it stands now, but the firefight, of course, continues. About 200 firefighters here, and another 300 will be here by tomorrow. We're live tonight in Basalt. Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First. Matt, it'll be good to get those reinforcements. Thanks so much.